Hey everyone, Robert here. Welcome back to Stranded Deep Season 4. Today we're on day 127, I believe. Uh, I think we're starting 128 soon, actually. Uh, so, last episode I built this nice little escape, this little ocean or harbor um, little suspended build here. I absolutely love this, and I think I want to do perhaps a, a couple more bases spread around. Uh, not here. I might expand this base, um, you know, at some point, but... We're probably going to be building more bases spread around the islands. So I do need some food and water before I can go anywhere. But I think I really want to go to that island today. That looks beautiful. Doesn't it? Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, we're going to gather some of the stuff laying around here. And we'll head up to the home island to replenish our resources. Actually, come to think of it, I might just <sighs> wing it. Like, I've got resources here. Hold on a second. I'm going to eat that now, and I've got three rations right there. I think I'm just going to go over there. It's actually turning night, so <laughs> I'll have to head over in the morning. I could use the gyrocopter. <gasps> this is turning out good. There she is. That is our objective for today. I don't know where we're going to get with exploring the island. I, I doubt we're going to be able to make it to the top, unless it's a simple ramp all the way up, but it doesn't look like it. This is too sheer. Um, I feel like I'm going to have to navigate like a cave system inside uh, the cliffs here. Or maybe there's a ramp down the other side. Who knows? Anyway, let's get ready and head over there. I think we're all stocked and ready. Yep, uh, I'll take one of these, sure. And let's go. Okay, here we are. Now, one thing to note, my FPS is struggling quite a lot here. And that looks like danger, but also fun. You see that? Uh, right, do I just want to sort of dock on the side here, or do I want to find a good spot? You know what, let's do a little bit of a circle around the island here. They need to fix that flickering lighting. I thought they already did. I swear they, um, said they did anyway. Okay, so we've got a little... Ooh. Looks like a way in. Right there. Jeez, waves are rough. Careful with the cliff. Look at that, man. Jesus. Custom scale use right there. I almost forgot to introduce the island. This is Kawanzawi. Wait, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> By Zumbro. Kawanzawi. Kawanzawi. You know what? This looks like a really good spot right here. We're going to jump on this boat. I see something up there. You see that? A tree, maybe? Who knows? The distant objects in this game look horrific. Oh yeah, my FPS is 30. <laughs> I probably should have waited until they optimize the game to come here. Oh wow, I can see why. Uh, yeah, they've got a lot of objects. Um, well, if I ever need resources... <laughs> there's a forest here, and loads of sticks, loads of potatoes. Oh my god, my FPS is just so low. It's not bad when I look in certain areas. Wow. Okay. Let's get some tools and explore. In fact, first, before I get tools, let's try and get on here. I want to get some crates. Ooh. Hello. <gasps> Ooh. Now, with an island like this that is so heavily modified and has so much stuff on it, the best thing to do is just loot. Just try and pick up as many... Uh, as many... Things on the ground as possible. I should have chose a different area. I've got no flat surface to put stuff. Um, up here we'll have to do. <laughs> Actually, I'll choose here. Oh my god, my FPS, man. Oh wow. Oh wow. Is this... <laughs> is this another Joltic Island? Isle of Joltic? I think it is. <laughs> oh! It definitely looks like it. Uh, right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I've got too much stuff. Okay. Double door. Too much stuff. <laughs> now, for anyone actually thinking this is way too much loot, I slightly agree with you, but if you're new to the series, or season, specifically, 128, um, then this season's more about exploration and having fun than it is survival. This is a survival game, but, you know, there's only so much you can do in a survival game. Like, I I've done everything you can think of. So surviving is just too easy. That's why I'm focusing on exploration this time. Wow. 
I think we're making a metal base. <laughs> What's down? Hey, we've got a little bunker. Well, hold on. I want to pick up some more stuff first, and then we'll uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> I like the lanterns. Very good. Lots of... Oh, my God. Double doors. A crude hoe. Okay. I need to, like, slowly get rid of all the stuff on the island here. Do I still have my shipping freighter? I think I destroyed it, didn't I? I could really use that roundabout now. Yeah. I think I'm uncovering a little tunnel behind here. Oh, my God. Look at that frame rate. Oh, it hurts. The frame rate's really good when looking over here. Oh, great storm. It's just when I'm looking over towards the trees over there, so I might have to do some serious deforestation. I'm actually using the climbing feature that I've not used in... God. Two years? <laughs> I, I just... There's no point in climbing trees like that. Just chop them down. <laughs> I would chop them down, but I don't want to do that quite yet, because that will create even more stuff. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just organizing the loot, collecting it and sorting it, as you can kind of see. Um, my system currently for coconuts is to um, dispose of them, like so. <laughs> I just realized that this island is made by the same creator as Isle of Joltik, so... Yeah, that sort of explains a little. <laughs> okay, um... What? Dude, some bro, you're insane. Well, this is really useful because I will at some point be expanding the um, the floating ocean base. The all rig, whatever you want to call it. And I need loads of buoy balls, so. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Okay, so we're getting back to the island here. Basically, for the past two days in game, I've been just shipping resources off the island uh, to Kochayad, right over there, the little uh, fishing outpost. That's where I'm sort of laying stuff down, for now, anyway. Um, I've not chopped this forest down yet. I just need to focus on getting resources off the island to make it sort of playable. And I think I've done that. Oh god, calm down. So, um, if the frames aren't too bad, I mean, they're not looking amazing. But basically, I think we're ready to explore a little bit here. Uh, so, when I was looting, I found a light. A light was on in this general area. I think it was up here. Hmm. Nope, there was definitely a light on up here. Hold on. And if anyone's wondering if it's my computer that's making all this lag, it's not. It's not. The game isn't very well optimized. My CPU isn't even at 50% uh, usage right now. So, yeah, there's that. So, as you can see, whenever I'm looking away from behind me, <laughs> it's running great. But as soon as I go over here, oh, okay, yeah. So I think we need to find the source of, uh, of this lag. Um, but let's go into this cave here. This is what I found. What? I don't even know how to describe that. A chute? Got some barriers here, we can't get in. Was that a bar I just saw? No, I'm tripping. I just can't wait to get up there, bro. Look at that. <laughs> like jumping off that? I could always fly up. I don't even... I don't, wait, no. I don't think I can. I think that's too high for the gyrocopter to go up. If I remember correctly, it was the AI that caused a lot of lag, so there might be a lot of animals in here. Either way, we're going to hunt them down and kill them if, <laughs> if there are. So, I think I'm going to go into that tunnel now, down in the bottom of the, uh, of the fort over here. That seems like the only way I can really progress. Besides, there's some very interesting-looking rocks right here. We've got a... Oh, wait, hold on a second. Yo. What is going on here? I should not be going near this. It looks horrible. Wait, is there no aloe vera? Oh, there's one right in the middle. <laughs> I can't reach it. Oh my god, that lag, man. That lag. Whoa. Really interesting rock formations here. Really interesting. So over here looks... Fairly standard once again. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's go back and let's go down that tunnel. Wait, hold on a second. What's behind here? Whoa! Oh, there's a lashing? Okay, I'll take that. There we go. That's how to delete items. Where is it? I think... I don't think the hole's in this one. No, well, there is a way down there, but... 
I want to be going down here. Okay. Gotta be careful here. What? Where are we right now? Barrel? I don't think there's a barrel here. I'll break it though. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Well, that's stuck. Great. Dude, I have never seen anything like this in all of my days of Shanna Deep. What the? <gasps> Yo! Look at that! <gasps> I think that's a snake. No? Okay. Oh, hello. So we find axe and some rations. I'll take that. Dude, what is going on here? This is spectacular. Can I close it with me in it? I love this. It's like a little bunker. I wish it was bigger. Build a little base down here. What? What? What is this place, man? I need to go back and get a uh, get an axe. Okay. Nothing good can come from this right now. <laughs> Let's uh, go get a pick. Well, the stick collection's building up quite nicely. I might have to um have to expand the nice little fishing village that we've started. You know, got too many of these sticks. Plus, it's right across just one island. So, yeah. What do you think? Oh, you know what? I'm going to check down here really quickly. I didn't even get a pickaxe. It's all the way down in the boat. Damn it. I don't think... So the best of my memory, anyway, I don't think I've ever seen tunnels done this well in Shunna Deep. Like, especially with covering them up at the top. You know, it's not easy to do in this game. Uh, yeah. No, let's go down here really quickly. See what's down here. So if it's not connected to the other room... Oh... Okay, yeah. Let's go. Okay, let's well, mine some of those uh, clay nodes, I think. Yes, clay. And get across this bridge. I went up there briefly. There's just a double door. Not gone through that yet, so that'll be nice to explore. Thought that was an old rock. Uh, I feel like I know what's going to be in that water. But we'll see. Okay, I'm not going to worry about picking it up. I'm just going to sweep it into the water for now. Seems like a silly idea, but that's what I'm doing. Just then, it's all going to be in one place. Hopefully the bottom of this water is actually flat. Everything else seems to be quite flat, so... Something's over here causing a lot of lag. Oh, yep, yeah, here we are. We're in lag center. What's causing this lag? Okay, so it looks like it wants me to do some sort of jump. Um... Well... I could just enable these handy little platforms. Look at that. Nice little detail. I wish someone would make, like, um, like a really intense puzzle. Something like this, but a puzzle room. And I am not making that jump. There are no barrels here. Are there supposed to be barrels here? I don't see them, and I don't, I don't think I can interact. I'm gonna check this water. <laughs> I'm paranoid about that. Seeing as it looks like I'm supposed to get out here. Let's check out what's in here. Is anything in this water? There's lots of barrels. I think the barrels are glitched. I really do. Um, I might have to reload the world here. So after reloading the game, I remember that shadows cause immense amounts of lag. And look at this. Boom, getting a solid 40 right here. So I think we're back to being pretty good. So let's get back down there and figure out what's going on. Oh, this is amazing. It's so smooth. I feel like I've just discovered 144 hertz for the first time. Oh, love it. Oh, I miss shadows already. But the FPS is too good. Um, so we haven't explored this room yet. It seems to curve around. Maybe I can make a little boat. Or I could just swim. That's optional. <laughs> the barrels are invisible, so I think I'm gonna... I really don't know. I really don't know what to do here. Because th the barrels you can see, boom, but... They're not actually there, so... Where are they? They seem to be, like, smack bang in front of me, so... I might risk it and see if I can just jump on them. <gasps> okay. Is this supposed to be some sort of barrel bridge? I'm walking over... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Barrels disappear. Towards the end, I think. No? 
Nope, there we go. It's a barrel bridge. <laughs> I really don't know why they're invisible, but they are. Um, Shanda Deep, Beam Team, could you perhaps look into this? <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it. Pretty cool though, I wish they were visible. So, we're back in the tunnel, and I think I want to go this way, quickly, before I go around here, because I don't... I don't know, this seems to go up. Um, let's check this out here. So, we've got a double door. A single... Oh, it's getting claustrophobic. Okay, let's get some trees. Chop those out. Okay. Uh... Yeah, this is all I can do. <laughs> I can't see. Uh, let's open this. And chop that. Okay, if you've, Zombra, if you put a snake in here, I swear. I swear. Whoa, okay. This is gonna get confusing. Um, let's close that for now. Oh my god, this is getting really confusing. Okay, I came from here, okay? Came from here. Let's go straight. And get more confused. Dead end? Nope, it curves around to the right. Dude, these tunnels are like nothing else I've ever seen. Oh, some rations. Gotta keep my eye on the floor here. Okay, so this is just leading me around in a circle here. So I am gonna do myself a favor. Close that off. So it goes around this way. <laughs> Thanks for the stick. I like these trees. They're a nice little touch. I wish there was, uh... Something else, perhaps, that could have been thrown down here, like... I really don't know. Like, vines? Almost? Oh my god. I think I figured out why it's lagging so much when I look down. <laughs> it actually will be. It'll be the shadows casting on all these things. I think there's one that's glitched. I can't... Uh, wait, wait, wait. I can't reach it because it's in the wall. There we go. You see? Oh, day 130, by the way. Hell yeah. Let's go through the middle corridor here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We're at the end. Literally a dead end. Amazing! This is where you put your worst enemies. Sombra, what did I do to you? I am gonna have to make a shipping freighter once again, I think. Just to sort of move loot. Uh, otherwise, it's just gonna take so long to clear this island. Hey, maybe I don't even need to clear this island. It depends if I'm gonna build here. I think I've established this before. If I'm gonna build somewhere... Uh, okay. Invisible barrels. Then, I want it to be... Uh, I want it to have good performance. But this right here, not really great for a base. As cool as it is, it's just, uh... Not there, you know? Shame, really. I wish they would, uh... I really think they should, like, redo the way custom islands are made. Uh, is this a dead- Ah! I can climb out of here. Let's do that. As soon as we're already at the very end. All the sticks are picked up, so... That lag might have cleared. Let's try and climb out. Wait. Uh, can I not really not make that? Really? Okay. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, well, I can't get out this way. However... Maybe I was supposed to fall in here? Who knows? Well, I definitely can't reach that handle. Can I climb up here? <gasps> what did I just grab onto? Oh, there's a little- DUDE! Nice touch! There's a little handle inside of the rock. Jesus! That's one fat tree! Custom scale at its best. Uh, right. Oh my god. I sort of don't want to chop this down, because I feel like it's such a a treasure. But I do need to uh, get out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. Whoa! Um, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Look at that tree stump. That's one thing that I feel like should be in the game. Massive trees that you can chop down. <laughs> There's another one here too. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Why not? And it appears that I am stuck, unless... Wait, what the hell is that? Is that really how I'm supposed to... Dude. This is like a little puzzle. I like this. Zumbro, you clearly thought about this a lot. I just really wish the game, like, was a bit more generous with... 
performance, but... Um, right. Let's do a full circle once again. And drop this loot off. Dude, I take like one heart of damage every time I do that. I really shouldn't be doing it. Like, my health is pretty low, all considered. Like, I've not fought anything. I've, I've not fought anything this entire time. Hmm. Maybe there's a boss battle hidden on the island? Who knows? Okay, and we're back at the end here. Um, maybe there's like a hidden jump here? No, okay. Let's try and go this way. Past the gigantic stump. And we can get up. Maybe this is the way he's supposed to get up. Completely. <laughs> Look at that. Dude. Okay, um, and we're back over near the very top of this island here. So, that is all I've got time for in today's video. One hell of an island this is. Thanks again, Zumbro, for making Kawanzawi. Kawanz Kawanz Kawanzawi, yes. This is going to be probably a two, maybe a three-parter of an island, because I've got so much to explore. I've only explored probably a third of it. Just like the other island, I think it's Crow's Nest Volcano by Herja, all the way in the, uh, in the corner over there. That was another really big island. So if you're looking forward to me exploring the rest of this island and you want to see me get all the way up there, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. That way you will catch the video as soon as it comes out. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. It's the usual. Press the like button. That's everything. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.